Hi there, my name is Hayden Klotz. I am the service manager here at Moorride International. Um, today we're going to talk about the owner's manual. We're going to talk about the key features as well as the maintenance intervals of the suspension system. So we'll start off with the introduction page of the owner's manual. We're going to talk about some of the advantages of the independent suspension. The primary benefits that you can expect from the Moride IS system are smoother towing, improved towability, automotive style alignment, height adjustment, and proven durability. The independent suspension is going to give you five and a half inches of wheel travel. That is much better than the standard two inches of wheel travel that you get with your leaf springs and steel equalizers. Improved towability. The Moride suspension is designed to block body rolling, improving the cornering and stability of the tow vehicle and trailer combination. Alignment. The alignment of the IS is similar to what you would see in the front end of a vehicle. You can manage your tire wear through tow and camber adjustments, a feature that no other towable suspension offers. Height adjustment. The Morai suspension can be adjusted easily to accommodate different tow heights and compensate for side-to-side -side load variations. Proven durability. The Morai suspension has undergone strenuous testing to improve its durability. The result? No more broken leaf springs. The image provided shows a list of the main components of the independent suspension. We have orange arrows that show where they are at in correlation to the suspension to get you familiar with some of the terminology. We also provide you a full parts list breakdown of all the components that make up the independent suspension. We do use different brake suppliers, so make sure that you're looking under the correct list for your brake parts. We are next going to talk about the service procedure tab. This is the maintenance requirements for the independent suspension. You are to grease the bearings by hand every 12,000 miles or 12 months, whichever comes first. The torque brackets must also be greased every 12 months. The type of grease that we use is a high heat lithium. The particular brand that we use is a Kendall more specifically, it's an L427 Super Blue number two. You can use any grease that meets the listed specification for that grease. The next thing that we'll talk about is where to place a jack if you were to have a flat tire. There are two preferred locations to use if you were to have a flat tire and needed to lift individual tire up off the ground. One is directly underneath the beam assembly using either a floor or a bottle jack. The next location is the bottom of the strut bracket closest to the ground. From there, you can either place a bottle or a floor jack to help lift the trailer. The advantage of the independent suspension is you are only going to be lifting one individual wheel assembly off the ground. You are compressing the spring with the jack, which does not require you to lift the whole side of the trailer. The next thing that we will discuss is the height adjustment. Built into each independent suspension is a one inch height adjustment that you can make based on a couple of different things. One would be if one side of the trailer is heavier than the other, you could in turn lift that side of the trailer one inch to help balance it out. Another advantage is if you're ever to buy a different tow vehicle and that tow vehicle sits higher off the ground, you will in turn be nose high. In order to compensate for that, you can simply raise the trailer one inch over the axles and adjust the pin box and hitch accordingly to get you back to level. The next thing that we're gonna talk about are the rubber shear springs. The rubber shear springs are what you're riding on, give you the five and a half inches of wheel travel and provide the superior towing. So when we are going to inspect the springs, what we're looking for is a tear. What we're gonna look at is directly underneath the spring in comparison to the assembly. So we're gonna get on the ground, we're gonna look up at it, we're gonna look between these two rubber plates, or between the two steel plates on this side as well as this side. Uh, we're gonna examine the rubber underneath. You will see wrinkles, that's normal. A flat tool such as a putty knife can be used as a probe to check this. If a knife can be inserted into the rubber at a depth of three quarters of an inch or more and the width of that tear is three inches or more, the rubber should be replaced. If you're experiencing a change in ride quality and the ride is not what it was when you first bought it, one thing that we would look at would be deflection. Deflection is a troubleshooting tool that helps us determine 
a possible issue with the springs. Not all the time is a tear a dead indication of a spring failure. At times, the spring will give out due to stress. If we ever needed to change out a rubber spring, we would look at the rubber shear spring procedures tab. We have a QR code with a video link as well as a full list of instructions step by step. The two correlate so it is nice to be able to read and see the process, whether it is you or a shop doing the work. This same process is used if you are changing a spring or if you are changing the ride height. It is the same procedure, it's just a matter of which hole you're going to install the bolts into. Our next tab is the alignment procedure. The trailer is alignable, just like your automobile. If the trailers were to get out of alignment, you would typically see inner or outer tire wear. This is the indication that you need an alignment. There are individuals that will get an alignment done annually, even if they don't see abnormal tire wear. At the time of a bearing pack is when we typically see that. Much like the shear spring procedure tab, we have a QR code and instructions. This QR code has a video link to each step that we see for an alignment. If you are taking this to a semi-truck alignment shop, they would be able to watch the video and read the instructions and make good sense of what needs to be done. Also listed in this section are alignment specifications. We have specs for tow and camber both that should be followed by each shop. We also provide a list of our shims that you could use to help adjust the camber. We also provide you with an alignment reference sheet. These are a list of shops provided to us by customers of places that they have gone and had a good experience with. Semi-truck alignment shops are where you would go to have this work performed. They'll have the base base and the equipment to make it happen. We also provide the dimensions of the shims. That way, if you're in a pinch, the shop could use a plasma cutter and make their own shims if they're ever in a pinch and you're trying to get down the road. The next thing that we will look at is the shocks. The shocks provide down pressure on the tire so that way it does not power hop going down the road. If a shock were to ever go bad, you would know that because there'd be oil leaking out of the collar of the shock. So this is the shock absorber right here. What we're looking at on each assembly is this collar. If there's ever oil leaking out of this collar right here, that's how you know it's time to change out the shocks. Typically, we'll see five to eight years out of the shocks, but we do see premature failure at times. So that's why it's important to look every 10,000 miles. If you ever needed to change out a shock, we provide instructions as well as a diagram that show the order in which parts go. Sometimes when you take these apart, the washers will fall out and you have to know what order they go in to replace the shock. The next thing that we will talk about is the replacement of the beam assembly. The beam assembly attaches the wheel and rubber suspension to the hanger assembly, which is welded to the frame of the unit. Should the beam and or spindle become damaged and need replacement, follow the steps below. The next thing that we will talk about is the torque chart. If you were to have a shop perform work on the independent suspension, there's a good chance they will ask you, what are the torque specs? We provide a list of specifications for each bolt size and then give a corresponding torque spec. The next thing that we will talk about is the warranty. The independent suspension has a five-year warranty in year one, we cover parts and labor. In years two through five, we cover parts only. It also has a 90-day alignment warranty. If you notice any abnormal tire wear in the first 90 days, you can take it to a local alignment shop, send us a copy of the invoice and the printout, and if the unit was out of spec, we will reimburse you for the alignment. Thank you for choosing Moride. We appreciate your business. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to our team. Safe travels.